In this video, we're going to show how to program the micro PDM. So the micro PDM works differently than most other similar solutions out there in that it doesn't require a laptop to program it. And that was by design. Um, personally, I hate seeing laptops out at the track in the paddock. Whenever people break out the laptop, they seem frustrated. So I said, okay, can we build something that can be programmed, customized from the driver's seat? And that's what I'm going to show right here. So to program it, what you need is you need to have your micro PDM hooked up. I've got a 12 key keypad right here. And I've got the quick reference card that comes with it. On one side of the quick reference card, it gives a quick overview on how to program it. And then on the other side, we've got all the configuration parameters and values. So let me go through this real quick. So what we're going to do is let's, for example, let's change the color of this button right here. So first, I'm going to flip my ignition on. The ignition's on. Let's see what color that button is. Okay, that button is cyan. So there's no color when it's off. When we turn it on, it's cyan. Let's change that. Let's make that red. Okay, that's easy to do. So the first thing we need to do is we need to flip the ignition off. The ignition is off. This puts the micro PDM in standby mode. We'll see. I can press buttons. Nothing happens. It's in standby mode. So to enter configuration mode from standby mode, what we do is we hold down buttons one, two, and three. So let me hold those down. And we hold them down until the background turns green. So now we are in configuration mode. And when we're in configuration mode, we only deal with the first three buttons. So we don't mess with any other buttons. We only deal with the first three. This button exits configuration mode at any time. This button cycles through my options. So it goes to the next option. Button three, this confirms whatever I've selected. And right now we're in step one. We need to select our button. So let's do that. Let's click the next button, button two, until we get to the button we want to change. And that's the first button. All right, that's good. Now let's press button three to confirm. Now we're in step two. Step two, we need to select our parameter. You can see the backlight is blue. We're selecting our parameter. So what parameter do we want to change? Well, that's where we flip over the card, and we just need to match the color up to the parameter we want. So right now, we've selected the red color, which is the ignition parameter. We don't want that. We want the on color. So we need to press next until we get to magenta, just like that. Let's confirm it. Now we're changing the on color and you can see that it is cyan. So let's press next until we get all the way back to red. So I'm going to press this a bunch of times. And there we go. It's red. So let's confirm it. And just like that, we've changed the color of that button. So let's flip our ignition back on or rather yet, let's exit configuration mode, flip our ignition on, and test it out. It should be red, and it is. So now that we've confirmed that that worked, let's write our changes to memory. So to do that, we need to enter configuration mode again. So I'll flip off the ignition, hold down buttons one, two, and three. Let's get my quick reference card out of the way. Hold down buttons one, two, and three until the background turns green. And then all I need to do is I need to write configuration to memory. So press and hold button one until backlight turns red. All right, that's pretty easy. We're holding down button one. As soon as the backlight turns red, I can release the button. Our changes have been written to memory. And now I can completely turn off power to the micro PDM, turn it back on, turn on my ignition, and we'll see that the button is red as expected. So that is how you can configure the micro PDM from the driver's seat. It seems a little kludgy at first, but all you need to do is configure it a couple times and it will become second nature. All you need is the quick reference guide to walk you through it, and you're good to go.